indices has seen a good bearish move specifically uh, the DAX that is Germany 40 and Tech 100 has seen a massive reversal where DAX has reversed from close to 16960 levels and US 100 has reversed from 16800 while uh, Dow Jones traded in a modest zone without showing much of the bearishness and likewise with FTSE 100. So now what to expect from the indices today? how to trade how to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators this is the first update for the day the next update will be released before the usa let's have a look at the economic calendar the events which can impact the moves here uh, you can see this on my platform forexfunda.com and in this section you will find see the unemployment rate today in the europe session will definitely have an impact you can see the smile is here this suggests that there is a medium impact of this news and the prices certainly the germany and the UK may have a little impact of this and later in the day there is a Fed speech which also carries a medium impact then the most important part is the George job opening data and the ISM manufacturing PMI yes this carries a red smiley suggests a great impact on the indices specifically the Nasdaq and Dow and then the FOMC minutes which is definitely bring volatility so do watch out for this do watch out the news you can visit the platform forexfunda.com for more details here and yes you, you if you support the effort here you can be a channel member press the join button next to the subscribe icon on the channel and video now let's start first to look into DAX followed with UK 100 and then we'll move to Nasdaq and Dow watch till the end listen to it carefully let's start first to look into early charts now dax on the early charts massive reversal was seen here since then we have seen prices trading with the bearish bias it has moved towards 16 650 levels and since then a retracement now see again it is trading bearish you can find out the resistance here the resistance is seen at 16 750 and 16 800 zone thus only bullishness in dax if you see it is staying above 16 800 right now it is looking downwards it is trading bearish but the stock i think is oversold MACD has seen strong bearish momentum here while the rsi is almost trading flat on the two hour charts similar observation here yes there is a wall which is seen at 16750 also the moving averages are crossing over here which is certainly a bearish sign thus if you see the price is staying above 16750 and then 788 800 if these three levels are taken we can say that there is a reversal and prices are going to turn bullish Stock I stick oversold, MACD bearish, RSI flat. Similar observation on the 3R charts. On the 3R charts, one of important observation is when so you see the two preceding candles with the flat top, and this is the breakout candle, first bearish candle. Look at the support at 16700, very, very strong, and then 16650. These are these two levels are going to play a major role today. And below that we are looking forward to 16600 the next target and if it stays below 16600 consider that as a bearish break a stock has stick flat macd is extremely divergent extremely bearish and rsi is looking down as well coming to four hour on the four hour chart similar observation see double top and then this breakout this candle may try to take the prices little down 16700 certainly a very very good support 680 a very good support and then 650 levels if these three levels are taken we can say that dax has turned bearish also one must note that on the four hour charts it has been trading in this box we have to be careful as long as 16600 16800 zone is respected today a stock has hit a bottom the MACD is divergent and bearish it is looking downwards the rsi is looking downwards as well coming to the daily now look at the daily chart see prices were divergent from the moving average it is converged it has hit the 20 period moving average taking the support at 16650 now the moving averages have also climbed but look at the divergence of the prices from the moving average uh, in fact the moving average is divergent 16000 to 16000 650 levels almost 650 points of divergence that is too much and thus it requires for it to converge which suggests that possibly we can see bearish moves in the next few sessions and if you notice here what has happened lower highs are seen and lower lows are seen where is the bottom here it appears to be close to 16500 levels for the near and then the next support levels are 16400 now once these two levels are taken we are going to look forward to a also another observation here is look at the Bollinger Bands which have narrowed and this narrow Bollinger Band suggests that the movement is now going to be outside Bollinger Bands in order to expand the horizon, expand the move. 
look at the stock asic this is looking down the magd now this is important magd has crossed over at the top trading with divergence and bearishness i have mentioned several times that it has crossed over at the top it has the potential to continue on the downside rsi looking down as well considering this i will recommend you to buy today at 16750 levels or 760 low zone which is going to be a greater resistance and beyond this you can look forward to 780 800 once the price is stays above 16 800 that is the point of time we can say that we have we are looking forward to little bullishness and reversal as potential of downside move is strong where 16700 you can sell but 16680 very strong support 650 next and then 600 these three levels if it takes then we can look forward to a massive bearish move in dex take your positions accordingly let's have a look at uk now see uk 100 again on the early charts triple top here at 7760 fail to stay above this drop retracement towards 7740 and again coming back to the same zone 7680 levels 7700 levels now if you see it is staying below 7680 certainly treat this as bearish move stock has stick looking down macd is bearish rsi is looking down as well on the 2 hour there is a crossover which is seen between the 20 and 50 period that is certainly a bearish sign thus if it stays above 7720 we can buy and expect 7740 7760 zone this is the zone which we have to be watchful of beyond this sky is the limit for uk 100 now look at 2 hour chart support is seen at 7690 7680 now also one must note that lower highs and lower lows are seen thus it is right now looking forward to 7650 levels on the downside stock has stick oversold macd bearish rsi is looking down coming to 3 hour look at 3 hour charts one bearish candle steps and then this bearish candle so possibly this may take the price is little down towards 7680 which is certainly a support level and then below that we can look forward to 7650 7640 zone stock has stick looking down macd divergent and bearish rsi is looking down as well on the 4 hour chart similar observation see bearish breakout and certainly looking forward to 7680 7660 zone the stock has stick here is also looking down macd is divergent and bearish rsi is looking down as well coming to the daily now i have mentioned several times that the prices are divergent from the 20 period sitting at around 7650 7660 zone and this is what it is trying to attempt to achieve the 20 period moving average at least and then we can also look forward to the 50 period moving average also you should look at the upside 7750 7760 certainly none of the candles stayed above this zone there is a reversal sign first bearish candle and today could be the second bearish candle where the prices might try to move towards 7650 levels stock has stick looking down see macd after showing a good bullish run it is now crossed over this crossover may bring the bearishness look at the moves here triple top and this can again pull the prices on the downside rsi looking down as well certainly a bearish sign thus i will recommend you to sell at 7680 and buy at 7720 in between these 40 points do not take a position below 7680 i will look forward to 7660 7640 zone very very good support here and below 7640 is where the bears will be taking over completely on the upside beyond 7720 is where the little bulls will be seen towards 7740 7760 zone any point of time staying above 7760 is stay bullish we are looking forward to 7800 and 8000 levels take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at nasdaq and before now we look into nasdaq 100 if you want to learn this art of trading where you can analyze any instrument easily and take profitable trades you can join my 28th mentorship batch starting Second and third week of January. Register yourself now itself. You can find the details related to the bank on my platform www.forexwater.com. Yes, it also has the economic calendar, the charts with advanced tools, the community of traders, and also you can schedule a call with me if you need any consultation or guidance. This comes or this uh, consultation is completely free if you are part of my webinar series where every Sunday we discuss the future of the markets and take a deep insight. into indices commodities currency movement along with the volatility index also i take up your live questions there so do register for it and if you just want to trade us with the signals be a part of the signals channel on telegram reach out via telegram or email or join my free telegram channel for more details now let's have a look at the early see tech 100 16800 850 yesterday i have mentioned that 16860 is the only buying entry it has failed to break and we have seen a selling entry initiated at 16800 since then we have seen a massive fall 
Now consistently lower highs, lower lows are getting created here and now again it is trying to look downwards. Thus also remember the price is a little divergent from the 20 period moving and we have seen after the drop retracing towards 16.560 and then 16.620 as the greater resistance. Thus today again we can buy at 16.560 but then 16.620 is the first resistance and then 16.660, 700 will be seen as the next resistances. A stock has taken oversold, MACD has seen a strong bearish move, now it is trying to trade with little divergence and bullishness. Though the candles are red, it is still looking upwards, it is interesting to see RSI at bottom on the two. Interesting observation on the two R charts is the crossover and the divergence, also the divergence of the price from the moving average. Now on the two R charts, this crossover is seen after almost a month. You can see uh, the previous crossover was earlier in the month of December and now it has crossed over on the sell side after a month here. This is interesting. Also note the divergence of the price from the moving average, it calls for it to converge a bit. Even if it has to drop, it can try to converge or wait for the moving average to climb down slowly. A stock has stick rising up, MACD is extremely bearish, it has hit a bottom, it can possibly converge and retrace a little, RSI is oversold as well. On the 3R chart, similar observation here, on the 3R charts, another observation is, look at the drop here, couple of retracement, one bearish candle, second has, candle has just initiated, it can again try to move towards 16,450 levels. With stock stick rising, MACD is bearish, RSI is flat. Coming to the 4 hour chart, similar observation on the 4 hour charts as well. Thus, only buying entry today is 16,560 and then wait for 16,620 levels. On the 4 hour charts, likewise, the crossover here in the moving average is certainly a bearish sign. The stock stick rising, thus, every opportunity of rise, every rise is an opportunity for you to sell. That is what it appears. The stock has stick oversold, MACD divergent and bearish, RSI oversold. Coming to the day, look at the daily charts, reversal signs, since the reversal sign we have seen it trading in this expanding triangle, where is the bottom, the bottom appears to be far below at 16400, 350 zone, the next support zone. And on the upside, the highs are now at 16800, 850. Right now, it is not showing any signs of reversal, flat opening, it can continue to trade on the downside possibility for 16400 is there and then below that in fact 16200 exists strong now remember the fact prices are trading with extreme divergence from the 20 period moving average now it can try to converge at least towards the 50 period moving average before reversing which means 16200 is achievable here look at the divergence on the moving average too much of divergence calls for it to converge a bit rsi hitting the bottom, MACD, now see MACD crossing over at the top, again trading with divergence, remember I have shared several times that this is an extremely higher level, double top is seen and possibly this drop could take the prices to the bottom, RSI looking down, considering this I will recommend you to buy at 16,560 levels, expect 16,620, 16,660, 16,700, these are the three key resistances. And if it stays above 16,700, consider this for a reversal. On the downside, one can sell here at 16,500, but then 16,480, 16,450 are two supports. Then 16,400, staying below 16,400 is where the increasing bearishness will be seen towards 16,300, 16,200. The next target is going to be towards 16,200 levels. Take your positions accordingly. Let's have a look at NASDAQ uh, Dow. See, US 30, first of all, the drop, the retracement then higher lows, the retracement, so it is just trying to consolidate a bit. Now what does this consolidation mean? It suggests that below 37,600 is where we can find the bears taking over towards 37,500 and this time once 37,500 is taken and 37,400 is taken, you can say that the bears are back. Moving averages have crossed over, certainly a bearish sign. The stock has taken oversold, MACD is trying to converge crossover for sell, RSI is flat. Coming to 2 hour charts, we can look at drop, retracement and again looking downwards. And if you notice, if you divide this into 2 half, you will find it is trading in this zone where the support levels are 37,600, 37,500 levels. The stock has taken looking downwards, MACD almost flat, RSI is trading with slight negative bias. Coming to 3 hour chart, look at 3 hour charts here. Similar observation, flat bottom, trying to move on the downside, higher lows. We have to wait for it to break below 37,600 in order to confirm further drop. A stock has stick looking down, MACD divergent and bearish, RSI is also looking down. On the 4 hour chart, similar observation here. First red candle, second candle has just initiated, I will wait 
if it breaks below 37 650 670 zone then further bearishness may take it further down towards 600 and then 550 levels the stochastic rising macd is bearish rsi is flat coming to the daily chart now look at daily charts on the daily charts you'll find the candle is open flat previous candle higher highs lower lows and now if it continues to trade from the current levels bearish we can expect 37 400 levels as well also remember i have mentioned several times that prices are divergent from the moving average and the median of the bollinger bands which is right now situated at around 37 200 300 levels thus in the near future these levels are very much achievable also i have shared that the moving averages are trading with too much of divergence this calls for it to converge a little which means bearish moves from the current levels stochastic overbought magd has crossed over at the top trading with divergence and bearishness looking downwards rsi is overbought as well thus us 30 is the one which can show the maximum bearish moves we are looking forward to 37 200 300 levels in the near future which means we can look forward to almost 400 to 500 points but uh we have to wait for it to break below 37 600 550 zone in order to confirm the bearishness consider for the day a buying entry above 37 760 levels can be taken and beyond this you can look forward to 37 800 37 and then beyond 37 800 we can look forward to in fact 38000 levels on the downside i will recommend you to sell here at 37 680 or rather 670 levels wait for it to break below 37 640 600 as the two support levels 550 at the next and then we can look forward to in fact 400 and 200 levels as well take your trades accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship by join my signals channel join my webinar series reach out to me for any of your queries stay tuned with the latest updates before the us session as well thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead become a member of this channel and support the effort